So this is the NASOM Certified Personal Trainer flashcards. We're just starting here with Module One's flashcards. What are the seven most chronic diseases? Cardiovascular disease, hypertension, high cholesterol, stroke, respiratory disease, obesity, and diabetes. What has or why has there been a rise in demand for personal training? A rise in obesity, diabetes, and other chronic diseases, and longer life expectancies. How can most chronic diseases be managed? Early detection, treatment, and healthy living. The condition of being considerably overweight by 30 pounds or having a BMI over 30. Obesity. The condition of being 25 to 30, 30 pounds over the recommended weight for one's height or having a BMI of 25 to 29 overweight what fractions of america what fraction what fraction of americans can be categorized as overweight or obese roughly two thirds which chronic disease is excessive body weight linked cardiovascular disease type 2 diabetes high cholesterol osteoarthritis, some types of cancer. Alteration of muscle length surrounding a joint, muscle imbalance. What is the primary cause for lack of physical activity? Low back pain, knee injuries, and shoulder and neck pain. Roughly what percentage of adults are affected by low back pain? 80%. What effect can sitting for longer than three hours at a time, working in enclosed spaces, and manual labor create on the human body? Low back pain. What injury is reported to have around 80,000 to 100,000 cases each year? ACL injury. Of the ACL injuries that are occur each year around 70%, what kind of injuries? Non-contact injuries. What is the average age for most ACL injuries? Between 15 and 25 years old. What helps to alleviate the occurrence of non-contact injuries? Enhancing neuromuscular stabilization. What is the estimated value of lost work time due to injury? 120 billion. The ability of the neuromuscular system to produce the greatest force in the shortest amount of time. Power. What are three adaptation levels of the optimum performance training module? Stabilization, strength, and power. A systematic, integrated, and functional training program that simultaneously improves biomotor abilities and builds high levels of functional strength, neuromuscular efficiency, and dynamic flexibility. The OPT model. What are the common, what are the components of integrated training? Flexibility, cardio, respiratory, core, Balance, reactive, polymetric, speed, agility, and quickness, SAQ, and resistance training. Which OPT level increases muscular endurance and neuromuscular efficiency? Stabilization. What are some stabilization training strategies? Proprioceptively based increases in challenge come from challenging balance and stabilization systems more. Load, low loads, high repetitions. What are the three phases of strength level? Phase two, strength endurance. Phase three, hypophagy. Hi, I cannot say hypophagy. Building the muscle, you know, growing it. <laughs> Phase and maximal strength. Hypertrophy. There we go. Which level of the OPT model increases prime mover strength while maintaining stabilization endurance adaptations? Phase two, strength endurance. 
Which training strategy is used in phase two strength endurance? Supersets of strength and stabilization exercises. Which training strategy uses high volume, high to moderate loads, and moderate for maximal soft tissue growth? Hypertrophy. Which training strategy uses high loads, low repetitions, and longer rest periods? Maximal strength. What are the three stages in general adaptation syndrome? Alarm reaction, resistance development, exhaustion. When plain pain or discomfort occurs in muscles 24 to 72 hours after exercise. Delayed onset muscle soreness, DOMS. When prolonged intolerable stressors produce fatigue and lead to breakdown in the system of injury. Exhaustion. The principle that states the body will adapt to the specific demands that are placed on it. Said principle or principle of specific T. For what does the acronym SAID stand for? Specific adaptation, adaptation to impose demands. The type of specificity that refers to weight and movements placed on the body. Mechanical specificity. The type of specificity that refers to energy demand placed on the body. Metabolic specificity. The type of specificity that refers to the speed of contraction and exercise selection. Neuromuscular specificity. What are three performance adaptive benefits from resistance training? Increased neuromuscular control, increased power, increased endurance. The ability to provide support to maintain correct posture during all movements. Stabilization. What are four characteristics of stabilization exercises? High repetitions, low to moderate volume, low to moderate intensity, postural position that changes stability. The ability to produce and maintain force production for a prolonged period of time. Muscular endurance. Low intermediate repetition ranges with progressive overload that result in the enlargement of skeletal muscle fibers. Hypertrophy training. The ability of the neuromuscular system to produce internal tension to overcome an external force. Strength. Ability of neuromuscular system to produce the greatest force in the shortest time. Power. An increase in either of which two things will lead to increase in power. Force or velocity. Force times velocity equals power. What type of resistance system does power training use? Superset. A maximal strength exercise with a high velocity power exercise. What three things has research demonstrated regarding circuit training? Just as beneficial as traditional cardiorespiratory training produces greater levels of EPOC and strength Produces near identical caloric expenditure when compared to walking at a fast pace. Training system that improves performance one set of each exercise. Single set system. A resistance training system popular since the 1940s that consists of performing a multiple number of sets for each exercise. Multi-set system. A system of strength training that involves a progressive or regressive step approach that either increases weight with each set or decreases weight with each set. Pyramid system. A system of strength training that uses a couple of exercises performed in rapid, rapid succession of one another. Superset system. A resistance training system that consists of a series of exercises the client performs one after the other with minimal rest. Circuit training system. The resistance training system that is another variation of circuit training that alternates upper body to lower body exercise throughout the circuit. 
Prohibial Heart Action System. The resistance training system that involves breaking the body up into parts to be trained on separate days. Split Routine System. A resistance training system that alternates body parts trained from set to set starting from the upper extremity and moving to the lower extremity. Vertical Loading. The type of resistance training system where the client performs all sets of an exercise or body part before moving on to the next exercise or body part. Horizontal loading. What are three goals of phase five of the OPT model? Enhanced neuromuscular efficiency, enhanced prime mover strength, increased rate of force production. And that is all 55 flashcards for module one. Hope you enjoyed it and hope this helps you study.